create a client for a COM object with dual interface. If you want to do C++, first you have to use the smart pointer, create an instance of your class, and then start calling the methods or properties of your dual interface. And of course, in VB, you have to create an instance this way, and pretty much, again, use the methods and properties. Creating multiple dual interfaces, that means you might have more than one interface. So, as mentioned earlier in this chapter, scripting clients can access only methods of a default dual interface. Visual Basic or C++ don't have a problem accessing multiple dual interfaces, however. So, in order to do that, if you want to add a second dual interface, you have to go and do this manually. In this example, I have two interfaces, on land and on water. Both of them are dispatch interfaces, as you see. The catch here is that you can have only one default interface of a dual interface, so keep that in mind. In order to implement it, on the COM map, you are passing the COM interface entry 2 for the <coughs> on dispatch. If you recall, this is simulating the query interface for your server. If you pass COM entry, you are treating your regular interface. If you're passing COM entry 2, this is another macro that specifies the dispatch interface. There are two different implementations of it. Also, to see a header file of iDispatch, you have get ideas of name and invoke has been already implemented here for you. So, in order to implement the get ideas of name, as I talked about before, you're actually going through a series of different comparisons and find out a particular name and then you're passing the ID to it. And then invoke gets that ID and literally goes and invokes it. By just returning the value type. In order to create a client of a multiple dual interface, the way it works, you're actually creating an instance of a particular interface. As you see, you are creating interface on, on, on water versus the on land, and that makes a big difference right there. You're creating an instance. <coughs> I'm sorry. You're creating an instance of the same class. However, you're calling a particular interface method in order to use that functionality. Also, this is an example of an ASP. The way that you're working within an ASP, ASP can only understand the default interface. You cannot take advantage of dual interfaces, multiple dual interfaces. There are some limitations of multiple dual interfaces. The properties and methods on each dual interface must be unique. You can't just say, you know, say, uh, carry on the same name. The names better be unique because you're using the automation. The get ideas of name function cannot distinguish between methods on different interfaces if they have the same name. Also, you are restricted to 16 bits, which reduces the range of display ideas that can be stored. In other words, you become limited in the number of functions and methods you can have per interface. Pretty much that will cover the entire chapter.